The first part of the process for me was, again, trying to um, do some research on what exactly was meant to have happened at that point and what he said to the, the women and what he was trying to... What was the metaphor for what he was saying? Once I, I got what I thought he was about, which seemed to be about self-indulgence and what else was going on around them, which was bigger issues they should be focusing on, that's then how do you represent that in a way that it wasn't too literal. And then it's that thing about trying to live in that, like how would those people felt um, under those circumstances? What was trying to be said? What was the message that needed to be somehow got across that it would hold up hundreds of years later? The same sorts of issues are, are still current with us. So yeah, it's, it's that process. First of all, what is it that's trying to be said? And then how are you going to address that in a way that's relevant? No, I just thought, how do you, <laughs> how do you represent somebody being self-indulgent? And I mean, we don't have to look far in contemporary society to find that. Um, I remember somebody saying to me a few years ago that dignity and grace hold no currency in contemporary society. And I, you know, so there's those sorts of, images come to mind, whether it's a phrase in what somebody said to you or a, an image you've seen. And certainly the image of people taking photos of themselves, I mean, to the point where you now got a selfie stick so you can get the camera far enough away so you can get even better shots of yourself. I mean, it's the world we live in. It's very self-indulgent. And the camera is a part of that. I've always been fascinated with the camera and that notion of, um, Either you're being taken a photo of or you're taking the photo. So that whole voyeuristic uh, element. So some of the images in the foreground, I mean, the crow is a symbol of death and the bucket, well, they were at the well. From memory, they were at the well, but I didn't want to just have a bucket of water sitting there. So I like the idea of the bucket being tipped over and the water spilt. And whether that's about spilt blood or whether it's just water because there'll be a little field of wheat around these iconic objects here. Um, so whether that's just a notion of water nourishing new growth, which is following up from the bucket and the crow, so it's from death comes new life. So there's lots of things like that going on. There's even some of the um, images that point up, and in a lot of early religious paintings, there was always somebody with their finger pointing to the heavens. So, and there is a, the moon with the, the crescent moon and things like that, which is not, not full moon, um, which could mean that the story is yet untold, full story is yet untold. So and some of these images, even though the ladies are taking a selfie now, could, there's images in there which could relate to hundred years ago, a thousand years ago. The time is kind of almost inconsequential in, in amongst the work.